Today we're going to be talking about the fourth generation Toyota Highlander. Now before we start this video, this specific car is listed for sale on our website, privateauto.com. A self-service platform that removes the middleman and uses a proprietary banking technology so buyers and sellers can safely close the deal anytime, anyplace. Now let's kick things off with a little bit of history. The Toyota Highlander was one of the first SUVs to be based off of a car platform instead of a truck platform. And in case you didn't know, most SUVs are typically built off truck frames. However, this isn't the case with the Highlander. In 2001, the Toyota Highlander debuted in America as one of the first mid-sized crossover SUVs and a larger alternative to the popular RAV4. Now let's talk trim levels, and there's a lot of them. The Toyota Highlander has a grand total of 11 trims, five of them being gas models and six of them being hybrid powertrains. So let's break it down. So we've got the LE, the XLE, the XSE, the Limited, and the Platinum, each of which have their own hybrid counterparts, except for the XSE. The XSE is only available in the gas model. There are two other variants, but we'll talk about those later. So now let's break it down. The LE trim. The LE trim in any Toyota actually is gonna be the most basic trim. It's gonna have cloth seats, smaller wheels, and pretty much not very many bells and whistles per se. It's also worth mentioning that this trim level has eight seats instead of just seven. Moving on to the XLE trim, it's gonna be similar to the LE trim in terms of looks. It'll have the same front grille and the same paint scheme. Now here's what's different. The rims are gonna be a little bit different, nicer looking I'd say. You'll get a moon roof, a powered lift gate, and more chrome plated accents, all of which the LE trim doesn't have. And another major difference on this trim level is gonna be the seat material. So you'll get uh, like a hybrid leather cloth combination. They call it soft text. In my opinion, this material is much better than cloth. I actually have this material in my Toyota and it is way easier to clean, way easier to deal with. And I believe it looks way nicer too. It doesn't stain or anything. To me, the price difference between this trim and the LE trim it's gonna be worth it just because of the seats. Moving on to the XSE trim. Now, this is gonna be where you start to notice a lot of the physical differences. Like, you'll be able to pick this trim out in a crowd compared to the previous two. Keep in mind, this trim is actually only applicable to the gas engine. The hybrid version doesn't actually have an XSE trim. There is no hybrid XSE. Now, starting off the looks, uh, this trim is gonna be more sporty compared to the other trims. Front grille is gonna be physically different and all of the chrome is just gonna be gone on the exterior, which in my opinion, is a huge win. I think chrome kind of makes the car a little bit dated and getting a chrome delete usually costs a couple thousand dollars just to do it aftermarket. But this trim, it comes stock with the chrome delete, which is awesome. You'll also be getting a larger set of wheels. They're 20 inches as opposed to 18. Again, with the chrome delete wheels, my favorite. You're gonna get daytime running LED headlights and you're gonna get a sportier looking twin tipped exhaust. It's not gonna really do anything, but it looks cooler. On the inside, you'll have an optional leather trim or the, the hybrid leather cloth trim that I mentioned earlier. You'll get a wireless phone charger and ambient lighting in the inside, which is kind of cool. If you don't like the body style of the XSE trim, but want the nicer features that come with it, the limited trim is for you. It's got the same body style as the XLE trim, just without the chrome, which is awesome. There's still a little bit of chrome, but um, significantly less than the first two trim levels. You'll get the same daytime running LEDs as the XSE. You'll get the same seats as the XSE, the, the Softex leather. And you'll also get a larger 12.3 inch display in the center, which will extend to the gauge cluster, giving it a fully digital gauge cluster, which is pretty sweet in my opinion. And then finally, we have the platinum trim level. This will be the highest trim level for both the gas engine and the a hybrid powertrain. This trim is going to have all the bells and whistles. For example, you're going to have rain sensing windshield wipers, a panoramic glass roof, heated front and rear seats, which is the second row, not the third, adaptive projector headlights, which just means it's like a fancier version of automatic bright headlights. You'll also get that same digital gauge cluster. What's unique about the touchscreen in the middle is that when you're parking or reversing, you'll actually get a 360 degree view of the car as opposed to just like the reverse camera. You can toggle between the two. It's definitely useful for your surroundings if you live in an area with a lot of kids running around all the time. You can see every part of your blind spots, which is awesome. All right, getting to the two other trims I haven't mentioned yet. So the hybrid powertrain may not have an XSE trim, but it does have two trim levels that the gas powertrain doesn't. Basically, these two trims are offshoots of the LE trim and the XLE trim. It'll just have the word nightshade after it. Basically, it's just a chrome delete version, a blacked out version of each of the trims. So it'll be the same looking as the LE trim and the XLE trim, just without the chrome. And the seats, everything will be black. Everything's gonna be the same mechanically and technically, you'll just have some cosmetic differences. Now that we've got those trim levels out of the way, let's talk specs. 
The gas platform has a 2.4 liter four cylinder turbo engine with an eight speed automatic transmission. You'll get 21 miles per gallon in city conditions, 28 on the highway with a combined of 24. The power output isn't too bad. You'll get about 265 horsepower with about 310 pound feet of torque. Moving on to the hybrid powertrain, the hybrid engine is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine paired with an electric motor. And then it's also paired with an electronic CVT transmission. As far as fuel economy goes, you'll get 35 miles per gallon, both in city and in highway. So in total 35 miles per gallon, which is pretty nice. With the electric motors, you'll actually have regenerative braking, which means whenever you're not like on the gas pedal, you are actually charging up those electronic motors, which in turn gives you more range. It's kind of cool on the gauge cluster, it'll actually show you how much energy you've gained over time. And simply to note, some of the hybrid trims actually have solar panels like kind of hidden alongside the roof. It'll tell you how much power you've actually gained just sitting. As far as power goes though, you'll only be getting 243 horsepower with about 175 pound-feet of torque. So keep in mind that is noticeably less compared to its gas counterpart. So what does the price look like year over year? Brand new, the gas trim started about 40,000 with the most expensive being about 50K. After three to five years, expect the price to depreciate by about 22%, which is awesome. So you're looking at about a 25K to about 35K price range when it comes to the used models of this car. Some closing thoughts. This car will be for you if you want a little bit roomier of a car than a RAV4, but you don't want to fully commit and get a full-size SUV, kind of like the 4Runner. And if you're looking for a used SUV, Toyotas are always super reliable, so don't be too afraid of some of the Highlanders that have a little bit higher miles that are in like the 85 to 130k range. But thanks for sticking around. If you have any further questions, let us know in the comments. We'll try to get them answered as soon as we can. And again, don't forget that this car right here is for sale. You can check it out at privateauto.com, see all the specs, the mileage, whatnot, all that good stuff, more photos and we'll see you in the next one.